Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to talk about geoblocking and why you should care. First off, what is geoblocking? Well, geoblocking is the practice of blocking network services based on the geographic region of, of the source. So that, that could mean, for example, if you wanted to block all traffic from Wakanda, then you would block that country. So why would you do this? Uh, you know, maybe you, your company has a mandate that uh, you don't want any services from certain companies or outside of, of your own country to be uh, accessible, or you want to take uh, known bad actors, origin companies, and you want to block countries and you want to block them. Um, so, you know, sources of malware and things like that. Um, so that that's that's sort of some of the reason why you do that. And, and so what does that mean? OK, so what countries should be blocked, you know, is your next question, right? Uh, generally speaking, our countries, but it can be smaller regions than that. You know, there's there's lists of countries out there that are, are well known to be uh, uh, sources of, of malicious attacks and stuff like that. You might want to set up your system to protect you from those countries. So you can do it one of two ways, right? You can do it. A, you can pick a specific country or countries and block uh, traffic from those countries. Or you can say, okay, so I'm from the United States or Canada or whatever. And you say, okay, I am only want to see traffic from the United States. So other externally than, you know, I want to block that. So that's one of the things that you might do and how you might do it. And generally speaking, you know, you're going to do this with your firewall, right? Most, a lot of the firewalls are going to be capable of doing this. Um, you, you'll, you'll, you'll need to get a list, uh, some, you know, it might be built in, or you might have to go out and get a third party list, set it up in your firewall to do this stuff. Um, you know, the thing, thing is, is like, if you're, if you're hosting services and you have ports open, then, you know, then, you know, they're exposed to, if you have a port open for port forward and then exposed to in the entire world. Um, so maybe you want to reduce that scope a little bit and block some countries or just only allow for the the approved country list. Um, so a lot of places, so a lot of firewalls, you, you can, you're going to need to get that list. Uh, MaxMind is probably the, the most common place you'll see for that. Um, let me just show you here. So here's you know, MaxMind and a lot of, a lot of firewalls will have you go get this free geo IP location data. You have to sign up and get it, and then there's a procedure. Uh, I, I'm going to show you in another video how to do this in OpenSense. And, and so if you're an OpenSense user and you want to follow that, stay tuned because you'll get a video on how to set this up. Um, but then there's, you know, basically once you get the list, you set it up in your firewall, you can pick and choose where you want to block. Now, what good is this doing for is, is are there downsides to doing this yes there are very much downsides to doing this for example um it's not 100 percent, you know like uh the bad guys and, and they're coming from xyz country um and they're building their botnets and stuff to attack networks so generally speaking they're not all coming from the same country of origin so so they'll have uh, bot that it could be all over the world. And so it's, that's where the distributed denial of services happens. So just because you're blocking a country or countries that are bad actors, doesn't mean that you're going to be safe. So it, it is one of the tools in your tool chest that you can use. Um, what are some of the other reasons you might want to not use this? Well, if you are hosting webs website or a service and you have customers or or clients or even employees that need to access those services in other countries then if you block those countries then you're you're going to be blocking them too so you've got to uh, play the game and see what works for you um, but that that is the generalization of geo ip blocking um, it can be a good tool especially if you have issues um, if you're monitoring your network you know maybe you're seeing a spike or, or something is going on. You can turn turn on a block of a country if you want. If you have it already set up, uh, you can go in there and make adjustments. So that's GeoIP blocking and why you should or shouldn't use it in just a few moments. If you got anything out of this video, go ahead and smash the like. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, we appreciate it.
your views. Uh, I've got a buy me the coffee link if you want to do that, though you can do that too. Um, thanks for joining me.